Hey, what's going on, Bowie fam? It's your boy bringing you another episode of Breeders Hacks. Hey, what's going on, Bowie fam? So a lot of people think that you can breed a dog that doesn't have color like a black and breed it to a dog like a lilac that has color and think that you're gonna get these rainbow of colors when you do the breeding. It kind of doesn't work like that. So I'm gonna show you guys how color is broken down and actually how to get color and how to keep color once you got it, as well as what geneticists actually use to predetermine what colors you're gonna get before you even do a breeding. So let's get started. All living creatures have DNA and they get their DNA from their parents, 50% from their mother and 50% from their father. So all color in dogs is, is just DNA or genes. So for example, the blue gene is called a dilution gene. To be a blue dog, it needs to have lowercase dd to look blue. But if the dog is capital DD, then the dog has no dilution and that dog is not blue. But if the dog carries one copy of capital D, which is not the color blue, and then also carries another copy of lowercase d, which is blue, then that means the dog will be not blue, but carry the blue gene and be able to pass it on to its offspring. So if we bred that dog to another dog that had lowercase d, then we now were able to produce blue puppies. So I'm gonna show you what geneticists use to predetermine what colors you can get when you put two dogs together. It's called the Punnett square. So if we know that a dog that has capital DD is not a blue dog and does not carry the blue dilution gene, as well as a dog that's lowercase DD is a blue dog that does carry the blue dilution gene. And if we know that there's a dog that carries both copies, which is capital D and lowercase D, it's a dog that's not blue, but carries the blue gene and can pass it on to its offspring. So if we put it in the Punnett square, we should be able to predict the combinations that we would get from doing a breeding. So let's do an example. If we took a dog that's capital DD and bred it to a dog that's blue, that's lowercase DD, it'll give us what the outcome is. When we add each box together, which would be the dog that's not blue, but carries the blue gene and can pass it on to its offspring. And each box represents 25% of what the litter could possibly be. So let's do one more example. So if we have a dog that's not blue, but carries the blue dilution gene, and we breed it to a dog that is blue, what are the outcomes that we're gonna get? You guys can pause the video and draw this out for yourselves to see if you get it right. Let me know if you're right in the comments. So the answer is, if you got that half the dogs would be not blue, but carry the blue dilution gene, and the other half would actually be blue dogs, you got it right. And the principles like this is pretty much for all colors. For example, chocolate is lowercase bb. So actually, if you have a dog that's lowercase bb and lowercase dd, which is chocolate and blue, you get what's called lilac. A lilac dog is just a chocolate and blue dog. And AT or ATA produces tan points. And AY is a foreign dog. It can't all be explained in five minutes, but if you guys like, maybe I'll do a part two. To wrap it all up, just breeding a dog that's like a lilac or a tricolor or blue or any color for that matter doesn't mean you'll produce all these colors. You need to look at both parents and what they carry and even then possibly use a Punnett square to possibly predict the outcomes. That's what we've done to allow us that most of our dogs carry pretty much all of these colors and produce them as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Breeders Hacks. If you guys want to see more videos like this, drop a comment down below. All right, Bully fam. So, um... For the people that stay to the end of the video, I want to give you guys a little gem. So you can actually test for one of these colors with your phone, a simple phone test. So this is what you do. To test for the color chocolate, all you got to do is have your phone with its flashlight on in a dark room. And if the dog's eyes turn like a fiery ruby bloodshot red, then you know that dog is chocolate. This doesn't just apply to like a plain chocolate dog. This can also be a chocolate fawn. This can also be a lilac because a lilac is a blue and a chocolate dog. So anything that has to do with chocolate, their eyes will turn a, a ruby fiery red with the flashlight on. So just keep that in mind because I know a lot of people be mistaking uh, lilacs thinking they're lilacs and they're really not. So that's how you can test for that. So see you guys later till next time.